Hello everyone and welcome to Jumper Man Tech where we specialize in HVAC, we do everything DIY and today we have a service call for a Hashizaki ice maker. Thank you to everyone tuning in to Jumper Man Tech. Alright, I don't see a display here but this cover is not really on right. Whoa, 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 what do we got here? We do have a display. It says on. So there's no error code here. All right, so if you look closely, right there, you see it? On. There's a, a switch position here. To the left is ice, to the middle is off, to the right is wash. It is currently in ice mode and it's saying that it's on. This whole thing is just dropped down. And what do I see? Boom. There's your problem right off the bat. I can see, see how this is here? This part is broken off and there's the piece. This is actually a magnet in here. This right here is part of your bin control, which is over there. I bet you if I place this next to the piece over there it's probably gonna start it's a magnet in here so this is your mechanical bin control so this senses the level of ice in the bin so this is actually what turns it on or off right now because this is missing it thinks the ice bin is full let's see if I just hold this next to that piece there, see if it like registers. Just gonna hold it there, see if anything happens. Two thousand years later. Oh, right there. Condenser fan just started. But system's coming up. Probably going into defrost harvest cycle. Yeah, it's in harvest cycle right now. All right, I'm messing with this. All right, so that's the problem here. So I know what they were doing here. They were trying to clean this thing like they always do. They're trying to poke inside around here, and they broke it. They're like, yeah, I don't know what happened. Yeah, well, I do. <laughs> it's their lucky day, guys. Check it out. Got a new bin control. There we go. All right. We'll turn this into off position so you don't get electrocuted. Turn off the main power in the back if you want to as well. We're gonna open up this control panel in here. All right, it's a nice little control panel here. We've got the control board, switch, fuse, transformer, contactor, uh, and some capacitors. All right. Let's see who is our bin control. So I had to remove all the contents that were up top. Slide this down and there's wires going through here. So if you follow that bin control, there's one gray wire, which is this guy. You gotta find a connection in here because the bin control, it connects with another Molex connector inside here. And then from there, it gets connected to the board. So it doesn't go directly to the board. Okay, get rid of that last tie wrap. Take this off. Let's see, this connector is right here. Another tie wrap. And this is it right here. I don't know why there's tape around this thing. Don't know why there's tape around this thing. But right here, it's gonna be our connector. Okay, so let's follow this out. And now we work down here. This is a very simple control to replace. Okay, so here's that wire. This guy's probably think I'm talking to myself. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna see these little knobs here. Yeah, it's pretty tight. I'm gonna get a little adjustable. 
Basically got two, one, two, okay. And these little things are the only thing that's holding this thing up. Okay. Just gonna unscrew it. Just got a bolt going through this. A little something like this. One. The other one's still tight. One. And this is gonna be two. Hold this thing, it's probably gonna drop. Okay. Pretty dirty, honestly. Anyways, pull this thing through, and this thing is out. No one's getting back here for a long time. Let's wipe this stuff off. Looks pretty gross. Just to make sure this is clean for them. There's a new control. This door swings open. So it's and right, we got the two bolts. We're gonna go through the top. But there's like a little hole in the back. So we're gonna stick the wire through there. Oops. I don't know why it's not going through. Let me see, we're gonna stick that wire through. We're gonna go up somewhere. Okay, I see the wire now. Let's just make sure we can catch it. Right there. It's on the side. And we're kinda just gonna snake this thing through. Come on. And then we're gonna mount the control. Just the two bolts. Super simple. Okay, that is that, and pretty much we're going to try to line up the holes with this thing and put these two screws in. Come on, where are you? Okay. Got one in, just going to tighten down the other. Alright, it's all lined up, perfect. I'm just going to tighten this down a bit. Don't go too crazy. Remember, it's plastic. Just want to make sure this is sturdy. So every time this thing doesn't get off balance or whatever. So snug it nicely. And the control is mounted. All right, there it is. And if you follow the wire up, got these little clips. It's going to run it in there. And as far as up top. Okay. There's like a slip here. So I'm gonna run the wire in here. And basically, just plug these two into each other. There it is, just plug it in. Let's get some tie wraps, some cable ties, make everything neat in here. A little something like that looks good. Okay. Close this cover. I guess we'll put some tie wraps on here as well to keep it closed. So we get, don't get any water inside there. All right, looks nice. Filter check. Dear Lord, close that valve. This is a new sediment filter. This is what it should look like. Let's go ahead and pull that thing. Usually you could take it off by hand. You really don't need to tighten it too much. But a lot of these things get over tightened. There is a special wrench for this, but I don't have one right now. This thing is screwed to hell. You gotta be careful when using a pipe wrench for this. Okay. Even out. Okay, you 
just need to tighten this by hand, to be honest with you. It should be good. Fill it up with some water. Make sure there's no leaks. You're good to go. I'd say that looks a lot better. Let's go ahead and start this thing. All right, moment of truth. I'm gonna flip this to ice. Scared me for a second. <laughs> that scared me for a second. Now on a long pause. Alright, water's filling up. Here we go. Let's get it. Whew. Sheesh. Alright, everything's running. Pipe is getting cold already, getting a little frosty. That's nice. Presser's running. I think that's a fan motor's running. Pump is running. All right, looks like we're good. I'm kind of just gonna give this thing some time and let it be. But there we go. New switch. This thing is still filling up water, huh? Make sure nothing else is going. Oh, it just stopped. It just stopped. All right. I'm just gonna give this thing some time. And let us do its thing. All right. Just went into harvest cycle. So just see how it's melting a little bit. It's sending hot gas through. See it's still frozen on that edge. So it's going in, it's coming out. Alright. Things are defrosting. Let's see. Oh yeah, definitely getting warmer. Alright. So it's going in the harvest cycle. Come on. Show me that ice. You can see inside here a bit. The top left is starting to, to melt. Come on. This thing, thing drop ice. Funny enough, we got another ice maker to hit after this one. Okay, okay, okay. Come on. Everything's defrosting. I feel like a little bit too cold but hey listen as long as this thing drops so it's sending hot gas through to melt everything and it's going to shoot some water through right there and help this thing slide off so you're seeing the harvest cycle right now this thing melted up and it's dripping into the box a little bit into the bin i think should be insulated just doing that. Definitely produced ice. Is it gonna drop? Come on. Oh, oh, it's coming down a little. It's coming down. Let's go. Show me the money. Let's get it. I said it's going back up. It's gonna get ready for its next cycle. That's a beautiful thing right there. I'm gonna wrap this one up here. If anyone found this video interesting or helpful, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe as I come out with new videos every week. And I'll catch you all next time.